Ecuador, Habano Ecuador is a relatively easier tobacco to ferment. It takes less time than a lot of other heavier style of leaves. I mean, Connecticut broadleaf, I mean, typically takes upwards of about 18 months to two years. Some of the stock of Habano we do sometimes takes as much as three years of doing the polones. So. And you guys can see just from this tobacco the difference between the filler leaves that you were seeing that were cured and the wrapper leaves, mm -hmm. just as far as texture, quality. This is coming from Ecuador, like we said. This has nine cortes, nine primings, um, and the cloud cover is its always cloudy in Ecuador, at least when I'm there, and that cloud cover provides the light to be filtered, and it just pr makes a silky smooth... This has got to be an upper priming. Cual corte es este, Pablo? I'm sorry? Eight. Yeah. This so it's eight, right eighth there. priming. So this is pretty no, thick. No tienes? Yes. Yeah, but are they the only one? No, 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 no. There are other people that grow at Correct. Yeah, yeah but this, um, this is, let's see, eighth priming. So we're using around five, six priming. Right. This is actually this is actually some of the thicker. Where is Willie? Of the Havana, Ecuador. Where is Willie? That's a good question. I was wondering could you call Willie? Is he not make supposed sure to be working? Make sure he's all right. Oh, you're worried about him being all right. I'm wondering if he's fucking right. Yeah. <laughs> well, that means if he's all right, he should be working. That's the, uh... <laughs> but, I mean, if you feel this, this is pretty thick for Habano Ecuador. Yeah, this is eighth priming. So I want you guys, we're going to pass this around. We're pulling a lower priming so you can see, <clears throat> see what uh, Here, start on that end with this one. 